Hey and welcome to Arts Midwest Folkefest in partnership with the Cultural Center in New York Mills, Minnesota. We are Kardemimmit from Finland. Tervetuloa mukaan, let's go! Hi, this is Maya from Kardemimmit and welcome to Härmä. This is a place, a small place, um, 250 miles northwest from Helsinki and There's 4,000 people living here with me, and I'm from capital area like all the other Kardemimmit, anna Leeni and Jutta. We are from Espoo originally, which is next to Helsinki. And four years ago I, li- I moved here uh, to the countryside and I really like it here. And when my work, when I'm on tour, playing with people or teaching folk music, it's also social. So. This is a nice. This gives nice balance and nice peace to my life to live here yeah, in a in a really small place. And yeah, me and my partner we live in a hundred years old house, and we like to renovate and build a traditional way using Finnish wood and and stuff like that. And now you are seeing my little wooden castle here. It's not a castle really, but uh, this is my workspace and it's quite brand new, so I'm super excited <laughs> about it. Uh, so this is a separate building in the yard and I have all my instruments here and this is my music room. And yeah, what I like to do when I'm having some free time, I really love to play board games and card games. That's my favorite thing. And I actually brought my favorite card game at the moment here. It's Sushi Go. Um, I really recommend this one. We were actually on tour, on the Arts, Mid- Arts Midwest tour in, the, I think the place was Rice Lake, Wisconsin. And we went to Target, of course. That's our favorite place when we are in the States uh, with Cardemimit and Samuli. Uh, so, I bought Sushi Go from Target and we tried it in the hotel room and I fell in love with this game. And yeah, it's super nice pick and pass card game. And I also like Ticket to Ride and Exploding Kitten, if that's a new find. Uh, I recommend that too. But I really like it, playing card games and board games with my friends. Mit. Uh, I hope you're doing well and uh, yeah I'm gonna tell you a bit and show you how would I spend my free day my free time here in Helsinki in Finland and um, yeah I'm gonna take you to sauna I'm gonna show how we do it here in here in El- Helsinki here in urban urban part of the country um, yeah I have a public or kind of like a common sauna in my building, in the cellar. And uh, my friend Venla is coming over here to my apartment and we are going to going to sauna together. And uh, yeah, I'm going to tell you something about, about that. And uh, yeah, and uh, here is my apartment. It's really nice. I'm so happy here. It's... Um, I've been living here about for about three months now, since last October. And um, yeah, it's it's there is lots of light here in this apartment. I've been uh, I've been 
spending quite a lot of time here in, in my apartment because of the corona situation, of, because of the pandemic. And um, yeah, so I really think that it's important that you feel comfortable uh, at these times, during these times uh, in your place, in your, at your home. Uh, so um, I've been really, yeah, um, I've been trying to uh, getting comfortable here at my place. And yeah, I'm super happy. It's, it's such, such a beautiful, beautiful place. Uh, I don't have that much work at the moment because of, because of the situation. And um, yeah, so I'm just kind of hanging out with my friends and creating new music here with my kantele. Hello, I'm Samuli. I work as a sound engineer and I live uh, in Tampere, Finland. Tampere is Finland's third biggest city, quite big city. Uh, and I, I work with many bands and I travel a lot in a normal time, but now, now I've been mostly at home with my wife and three kids. And that's my day. Okay, hello, it's morning in Ikuri. My kids are going to go to school. Very my name is Eino. You are Eino. And, and my name is Marti. You are Marti. They are twins. And you are going to go to school by bike. Even if there are minus 100 degrees below zero. Have a nice day. Bye bye. This is my house. Here I live. No niin Saimi, nyt laitetaan ruokaa. Eikä sun viisi yöllä, yöllä ja seitsemän keksiä. Ja kannattaa ottaa ehkä jotain muutakin keksiä. No niin, muuten... nyt ei oo, nyt ei oo keksiaika. Mm. Nyt tehdään nakkikastiketta. Mm. This is nakki. You can eat it. Mm, is it good? Onko hyvä? Ai niin, sä et ymmärrä englantia. Sulle pitää puhua suomea. No niin. Okei. Okay. So. Uh. Within this time, we can make the sauce. Mm, maybe that much. Okei, okay, now we have a beautiful brown sauce. Nakki. What was it? It was... I don't remember. Was it... Wiener. Wiener. But most important thing uh, after... Wiener is of course greens. We must eat greens in every meal. Okay. School day is over and... Now we are eating nakkikastike. Is it good? Yes. It's so good. So good? Yes. Very nice to hear. Potatoes and wiener sauce. So good. <laughs> yes. And if I'm not working and or making food for my family, then I go to skiing. Because skiing is the absolutely best thing to do in at winter time so and then see you at next time la 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 best thing ever Hyvää huomenta. 
Good morning. It's Lenny here. And this is my day. I was asked to describe what I like to do on my free time off stage. Obviously, there's a lot of uh, off stage time at this moment because of the pandemic, and I do teaching. I teach Kantele uh, to kids and uh, young people in a private music school. So that's what I do as a job for now, besides um, a musician and freelancing. And uh, on my free time, I do a lot of things. I enjoy sports. I do Finnish baseball is my one of my favorite sports. I uh, play in a team and then I go to gym, obviously not at this time because of the pandemic and I enjoy walking, reading, um, knitting. I've knitted this uh, sweatshirt myself, for example. I just recently moved here. This is in Kallio, quite near Helsinki city center. It's a small apartment, uh, about 380 square feet, if I'm not completely wrong. And uh, the house is from 1928. I love these old floors that creak. And I also love Scandinavian design furniture, secondhand things, uh, colors, greenery, my plants, plant babies over there. And then I still do have some unpacking to do. Those are my books over there. I wanted to show you the Finnish flags that are over there. Uh, unlike USA, Finnish people only use the flags when it's a, like a special day. Uh, today is National Poet Day. Our national poet is Johan Ludwig Runeberg. And that's why the flags are on the poles, but unfortunately they are quite tangled. So you can't see the Finnish flag very clearly now. But the best thing about this day is that uh, you get to eat a special pastry. Okay, so this is my breakfast. There's Finnish rye bread with cucumbers and uh, cheddar cheese and tomatoes. Finnish rye bread is the best bread in the whole world, in my opinion. It's also really healthy for you. My backpack is packed and my gondola is ready to go because I'm gonna spend the weekend away from home. We are doing some cardamimit stuff uh, further away from uh, the capital area, uh, about two hours away in Pirkkala. So that's where I'm living now and I will show you some of the public transport. very much into family history and, and history anyway. So one of my favorite hobbies here to do is to dig the attic and all the old pieces of luggage we have here, which are filled with letters and postcards and photographs from old times. For example, here we can find one of the pieces of luggage, which is filled with all letters and postcards from this is I've been going through these during uh, the holidays I've spent here here are letters from 1913 1914 and so on so this is kind of my hobby I read through these and and arrange them when I have time Today I found some cool old photos of this house uh, around 70 years ago because this house is now 73 years old almost. Here you can see the house. We'll go outside and see that it's uh, it used to be kind of pale yellow but nowadays it's red. And here is my grandfather with one of their cars I think. 
I have never lived here, but we spend here most of the holidays and meet the family and so on. Here is the man who built this house, my grandfather's father, Arne, and his childhood family. This is his sister Hilda, and Hilda actually moved to USA in uh, early 1910s. And that's why we have plenty of actually old American, um, some furniture and other stuff she brought back in 1950s. I'll have one more cup of coffee. I'll empty the dishwasher over there. And then I think Lenny and me will go outside and I'll show you the what the house looks like from the outside and we'll show and tell a little bit about the surroundings too. So here we are outside. Now you can see the house on the background and Lenny there adjusting the kick sleds. And we are ready to go with the kick sleds. These particular kick sleds are over a hundred years old. Uh, the other one on the right is probably the same one that was in the photo with my great grandmother in the 1950s. It's 23 Fahrenheit, which is about minus 5 Celsius degrees, so it's not terribly cold today. And there's a specialty in this village or neighborhood that uh, the roads are not graveled because then we can kick sled around. This is a specialty to a neighborhood like this. We have arrived in the crossroads of the main road and the Pike Street, which is our home street. There you can see Puistokatu and Keskuskatu. And uh, to the right, there is a dancing parlor we will visit soon. This is the ice hockey or ice skating rink they have here. It's just natural ice getting done every winter. And there you can see people. What are they doing? Um, they are They're... eating pulka. <laughs> They are going downhill with a pulka. You probably know this in English. I don't. And here is the sauna. It is owned by everyone who lives in this neighborhood. This is laituri. I don't know what laituri is in English, but you can tell me. It's a nice place to swim. Hey, thanks for joining me in a tour in Haikka. And tomorrow we will film your workshop video right here in the living room. See you then.